It's been almost two weeks now since the release of the first beta of the new iOS 26. Now of course it has a brand new design which actually looks amazing but it also has a ton of new features and changes. And during these past few days we have been able to discover a lot more. A lot of new features, a lot of new changes and of course a lot of tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user having their device on iOS 26 must know and use on their device. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 new tips and tricks for iPhone users on iOS 26. Now before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. We're starting things off with the Files app. A lot of improvements have happened to the Files app on iOS 26. But did you know that you can now actually colorize your folders and even add emojis to your folders? It's actually really cool. So when you go to a folder, you actually tap and hold that folder like this. And what you will be able to do here is tap customize folders. Now what you can do is add any one of these icons here that maybe indicate what you're actually saving in that folder. But what you can also do is also add an emoji. Now, once you have done that, you can also go ahead and add a color. To add the color, you will need to actually add a tag. So when you go to tags right here, you will have all kinds of different tags. You can also add a new one right here and pick a new color. But once you assign a tag to a folder, then the folder will actually be on that color, which is actually really useful. They look cool, but also it's very useful as it allows you to just find things that you have saved much, much easier. Now with iOS 26, you will be able to add a quick reminder. Now you can do that a few different ways, using the action button if you have an iPhone with an action button, or using the control center, or just having a toggle on the lock screen of your device. So what you need to do is add, of course, here the control, you tap the plus button and just go ahead and search here for reminders. And then you will have right here the ability to add a quick reminder. It is actually really awesome right there. There we have it. We tap here and we can just go ahead and quickly add a reminder. And you can see the pop up right there. It actually looks really cool and you can quickly have a reminder saved on your reminders app. Now here's something that I think is actually very useful. Previously on iOS 18 and lower, when you would go to a menu or to a page like this, if you want to go back, you had two different ways. Either you tap the arrow right there or you swipe from the corner here to go back. Now with iOS 26, you will be able to swipe, but you can just swipe anywhere. So I don't have to reach for the corner here. Using your iPhone with one hand, you simply swipe anywhere on the screen and you can go back on a different page. Passwords on iOS 26 also have gotten some really nice improvement. And here's one of them. On the Passwords app, now you can tap the three dots right there and you will be able to export your data to another app. So all the data that you have saved on your Passwords app from Apple can be exported easily to another app. Now with the camera app on iOS 26, we know that we have a total new design here. And if you tap right there on those dots, it will actually pop up like this and show you all the different controls. But you can actually do that in a much easier way. You don't have to reach for that button. Now you can see right here where it says photo, I can just tap again there and it will show me the control. So even if I switch the video here again, tap there again and it will show me the controls that we have for that port for, for that camera mode. As you probably know, with iOS 26, you can now have backgrounds on your messages. What's really cool is the way you can customize these backgrounds. So when you go to add a background and you choose color, then you will have here two different buttons with two different colors. So this is a two tone wallpaper. So what I can do right here is go ahead and pick any color I want. And it will basically combine these two colors and create a background out of those colors. It's actually really awesome. You even have different modes here. So you can see you can go to different like types of wallpapers and all of them will actually allow you to choose two different colors and then create that beautiful background which is also dynamic and it actually looks really awesome. Now this right here will be the favorite feature for me 
on the Messages app on iOS 26. The ability to select text within a bubble. If you want to save something you or you just want to copy something, you don't have to copy the whole message. So what I can do is go ahead and from here I can just tap the select button and this will allow me to actually choose what I want to copy. So just choose a certain section of that message and copy it to your clipboard. Also on the Photos app, we have a really nice feature that allows us to have your favorite things at the top of your Photos app. So right here we have the media types and the utilities. Now what you can do is 3D touch on any of them and you can pin or unpin them at the top of your Photos app. So right here we have the pinned. We can just go ahead and do that pin that and it will be right here at the top, making it very, very easy for you to actually find what you need. Apple has done an amazing job with the Photos app on iOS 26, way better than the change that they did on iOS 18, which of course a lot of users didn't like and it was actually quite a mess. If you have seen the presentation of iOS 26 at WWDC 2025, you probably have seen the spatial effect on the photos on the lock screen. Well, you can try that out on the Photos app without having to set a photo as a wallpaper. Once you open a photo, if it is supported, it will have that little button right there. So you tap there, it says spatial scene, and it will basically give you that effect. So you can go ahead and take a look at the picture and see that effect for yourself before trying to actually apply it to your lock screen. Now here's another really nice feature on the Photos app. If I tap on the filters right there, I can just go ahead and scroll my finger and you can see right there that effect that the new liquid glass will give. It basically highlights and where you place your finger, but you can see right here what I'm talking about. So if I just tap there, I can just hold my finger, come here and it will bring me the drop down menu. So I don't have to even lift my finger to actually go ahead and select anything that I need in this section. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, iOS 26 is actually turning out to be an amazing update. And I know it's very very early, we're just on the first beta of the first dev beta of iOS 26 and we'll have 3 months to go until the final release of this update and it should be amazing. I know there's currently a lot of criticism about the new liquid glass design but in my opinion it looks awesome. Of course it needs a ton of work, a ton of fixes, a lot of improvements that have to be made on different sections of the new UI but it actually looks really really good. And when just going back from this new design to the old iOS 18, it actually feels really, really old. So that's amazing. So again, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys on the next one.